This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, I will show you how to add a screenshot to your map. The first thing you will need is an image manipulation program, for example, Photoshop or GIMP. So uh, the great thing about GIMP is it's absolutely free. It's not a trial version or anything. You go to GIMP.org and then you click on the download button. The second thing you need to do is to open up your map in Unreal Tournament. First you have to go to Options, Player Setup, and make sure that you play as a spectator. Then make sure you have zero bots and start a practice session with your map. So now you can just use your normal keyboard keys to move around the map and look for an interesting screenshot. Now in this case, this is only a builder room, so it looks pretty dull. So I'll just pick, maybe, maybe I'll include the Epic logo like that. There. Once you've found some good angles, all you have to do is press F9 to take a screenshot. Once you have taken some screenshots, you can now open up your image manipulation program. So in this case, I've got GIMP. And when you go, you're gonna to go to the Unreal Tournament folder, the subfolder that's called System. And in there, you will see a bunch of BMP files. These are the files of your screenshots. So the latest one that I did was 001. Now you open that and there's your file. So when you add a screenshot to your map, it must be 256 by 256. And obviously this image is gonna be a lot bigger than that. So the first thing you need to do, scale down the image so that one side is 256 and then crop the rest of it out. So you come into image, scale the image. The smaller side is 900, so take that, change that to 256. Click on the little chain icon, and that will sort of resize the whole thing proportionately, and click Scale. Now you're almost done. The next thing you need to do is change the canvas size. That's called cropping the image. And you see the higher number? Change that to 256, and hit Resize. Now you will see in the middle, this is the piece that's 256 by 256. So you need to just simply drag your mouse, the left mouse button to where you want it to be. Let's say this looks kind of interesting maybe. And then when you're ready to go, you hit resize. Now this is your final image. This is 256 by 256, which is what the editor requires. And one final step, is you have to go into image mode and normally it's RGB but now you have to change it to indexed. What does indexed mean? Indexed means it's a limited color palette of 256 colors. So you click on indexed and you see here maximum number 256 click convert. Now you have an indexed image that's 256 by 256 come up here to File, Export, and then in this little menu here, it says select your file type. So you're gonna click on that, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says PCX. That's the version that you need. So PCX format, come up here to the top where the file name is. This must be called Screenshot, so change that to Screenshot, one word, no spaces and click export and you're done. The next step is to open up the editor, open up the texture browser and import the texture that you made. So file, import, grab that shot, which was in system right here. You see how it's called screenshot.pcx, click open and now change this name of the package. The name of the package must be called my level and then delete the group because you don't need that. 
my level means that these are your custom textures that you imported and it's going to ship with your map so conceivably you could put all of your custom textures into my level the only downside is that other mappers won't be able to use your texture so if you've created a nice texture set and you'd like to share it with other people then you should probably change this but specifically for the screenshot it must be called my level delete the group and then put screen a screenshot is the name of that file then you click OK and then you will see it here there's your screenshot so click on that now go to file uh, view level properties info screenshot and click use okay so you can see how it's called texture my level dot screenshot then you want to put in the suggested number of players in my case four to eight and the title of the map goes here where it says title so i would call this and put your name here under author as well now all you need to do is hit save and when you run unreal tournament now you will see the name that you put in your author how many players and the new screenshot <laughs>